Another day, another video. I'm out with James this morning. Quick gravel loop, mystery location. See where it takes us. Oh, this is the first time I've ridden my bike since the last, last time, time I yeah. rode my bike. I'm all right, I'm a bit cold. It's 12 degrees, bloody freezing. It's like hung, high fong in the winter. <laughs> We've just been talking about high fong, haven't we? Have you seen Lawrence? No, he did like a 12 hour ride, didn't he? And he just never came back. What? Yeah, I he's don't think he's recovered. Deep dark, deep dark north. He's just gone. He's gone? He's Where's gone, he mate? gone? Well, it's like when a dog runs away. He's just gone, isn't he? Oh. Got a new owner. No break loss. We can replace him. My missus has been talking about getting a sausage dog. Yeah, we're just going like Batsy Dog's home. And calling it Steve. Steve the sausage dog. <laughs> Well, you were just saying off camera, um, God, what a fucking mess. Um, uh, that you were listening to Killing in the Name of by Rage Against the Machine. I don't reckon you were born. I guess it's a little bit like me listening to Led Zeppelin though, isn't it? Yeah. It's the same thing. We both listen to Zeppelin. Well, I was just curious as to when that song came out. Good music is good music. 1991. It's a year older than you, son. Because <laughs> I remember that song coming. I remember listening to that song. But then again, I wouldn't listen to it when I was six years old. Come to think of it. I was listening to it in the womb, mate. Like your mum listened to it. I know your mum. She doesn't listen to Rage Against the Machine. She listens to Enya. My mum actually watches these videos, mate. So, mum, killing in the name off Rage Against the Machine. You'll love it. I bought an emergency gel last week. Because you knew. Because <laughs> I knew I would need it. Well, you were looking quite in shape. I went for it. It's, it's, it's our weekly ride, so getting you in shape. Guys, I've invented a thing. Look, look at this, because as you know, Ridiculous GoPro mount that I put in my mouth. That doesn't really fit in a pocket very well, but for gravel, check out this. There you go. Skin grows back. Little pouch. What do they call it? A stem you bag. Just, you just demonstrated how easy it Food was sack. to get the thing out as well, didn't you? I've just, I think that my, <laughs> my amazing footage through this ride will prove how easy it was to get out. On your wheel? Yes, brother. Not that you ride very fast. Nice thing about riding gravel in Surrey is that it's such a huge network that you pop out on a road and uh, if you're late home, which we are, you can then ride home quicker on the road. I can ride home quicker. You can sit on. Yeah. I thought you were getting faster. Two coffees, please. Black Americana, please, guys. So, quick spin home. Justin's just coming over. We're gonna try and fix his bike. The saga continues of Justin's broken, destroyed beyond repair derailleur problem. You follow him? It's deja vu. It is deja vu. Oh, sweet, I got a Haribo. A massive cassette. So for regular viewers of the channel, you'll remember that a couple of days ago, myself and Justin went riding together and his bike exploded. And then I had to push him up a hill in Richmond Park, which was quite hard because he's on a hand bike and the hand bike's quite heavy. You're quite heavy because you spend all your time in the gym. Uh, but you spent, you're drinking a protein shake, like literally last time I saw you. We didn't manage to fix his bike last time, but today we're going to fix it. We're dedicated. You can watch and learn and then you won't need me next time. What are these? Um, they were a pair of scissors, but I squeezed them too hard and I cracked the hand. A lot of things that I have to hold on to you seem to break. Squeezed them too hard. Right, first things first, mate. I really suggest that you leave that on my tire. Like a glove. So can you explain what you just did there? Uh, I put the cassette on. <laughs> <laughs> so the hanger here, unfortunately on Justin's bike, it's 
uh, part of the frame. On most normal road bikes, it's a separate thing. It bends really easily or snaps, and then uh, you just replace it. This one is aluminium, like the rest of the frame. So if we can't bend it back, then... Yeah, so like alloy, alloy is designed, well, not designed, but alloy hangers that basically snap instead of bending. So usually an integrated hanger like this will be on something like a steel frame. Um, and that's, you can bend that really easily, but alloy, you run the risk of it snapping. And this is like super bent. <laughs> so. Bad enough that if it was a normal hanger, I'd just say. Get a new one. Yeah, get a new one. Maybe we can ride soon, Justin. Another unsuccessful attempt at fixing Justin's bike. Uh, it turns out one of the DI2 cables is um, not functioning properly, so we need to get hold of one of those. We were hoping to finally do our ride, but gonna have to wait. Now, last video I put up was with Manny from the Black Cyclist Network. Obviously, being a very relevant topic, the video did quite well, and there's a few new viewers, so I wanted to say welcome to the channel. The video had an overwhelmingly positive response, so thank you very much for that. It's a super important topic, and it's the thing that I just couldn't ignore. So thank you to all of you for watching, and if you learned something from that as well, then fantastic. I'm gonna sign today's video off now. Thank you, as always, for watching. Please subscribe. Some uh, interesting content coming up this week. I'm gonna be in the studio, and we're just taking delivery of some 7,000 pounds bicycle wheels. 7,000 pounds. See you guys soon.